the solution to this example. So we want to split this and it looks like that dash is a good indicator or perhaps we can use the fixed width. Let's highlight all of these. I'm going to go to data, text to columns. So we could try fixed width but for now I think delimiter will be better. Let's try that, let's go to next. I'm going to say it's other and I'm going to use a dash. And what you'll see is when I look at this, so that looks fine, but for some reason there's another split here. Why is that? Well if you look carefully you'll notice that we've got dash consultants and another dash. So Excel is doing exactly what you want, splitting on the dash. However, that's not going to work for us. So I'm going to go back and I'm rather going to say, let's try now a fixed width. I'm going to say next. And what you'll see is it looks like Excel has guessed correctly. So what it's saying is it's going to show that separately. Then the dash is in its own line. And here we can have our description. So that looks fine. I think that's okay. Let's say finish. So now it warns us that if we do this, we're actually going to overwrite this stuff. So let me show you. And you'll see we've lost all our data. So I'm just going to undo. So when we do this, we've got to just think about it. Based on this, it looks like there's going to be three columns. So I'm just going to move this out. Make it a bit smaller. So now what we can do is we highlight that area. We go text to columns. I'm going to stay with the fixed width. That's okay for now. Let's finish. It's warning us again, but remember this should be fine. And now what we've got is we've got it split. And then normally what we do is maybe we can delete that column. We've now got the split being account number, account name, and the underlying numbers.